What's up y'all, I'm Jordy. Today I'm playing a Dawn Wings Necrozma team. Now I found this uh, just all over YouTube. Everyone seems to be using this team. I'll leave a link to the creator in the description. But it is such a strong team. Now this Necrozma, Necrozma is in its Dawn Wings form so it's fused with Lunala so it is a psychic ghost type. And it's just our size spam user. Uh, it also has Power Herb Meteor Beam to just get a special attack boost and blast through some things that would stop you otherwise, like Incineroar. Uh, Indeedee, standard for Psy Spam team. But we also have some interesting stuff here. We have Torkoal, who's great in Trick Room. Ursa Luna, who's great in Trick Room. Lilligant, who pairs well with Torkoal if you want to go for a different mode, because it's always good to have a fast mode on this style of team. And then Gallade. This Gallade is probably the coolest set I've seen in a while because it's wide guard, and which is just a great reason to use Gallade in Reg G. But it's also Scope Lens Terra Grass Leaf Blade. With Scope Lens attached, your high crit moves Psycho Cut and Leaf Blade have a 50% chance of getting a crit. Uh, and Sacred Sword is just Sacred Sword. It's really strong, goes through defense boosts. It only has a 1 in 8 chance of critting with Scope Lens, but it's great. Because that means if they are cycling Intimidates on you, you have a 50-50 shot of just breaking through that anyway. Good luck opponent. But anyways, this team is super strong, super offensive, so this may be a short video. <laughs> Let's jump into it. Alright, we've got a Ki- a Kyogre Sun matchup. What? Okay, they have Torkoal, it's probably their answer to Trick Room. So they do in fact have an answer to Trick Room. What I need is an answer to Water Spout, which is Gallade. So I think I lead Gallade either way. Probably just Gallade and Necrozma could be a good lead. I can Meteor Beam something. Uh, I can just put Ndidi in the back for when I want to turn on the Psy Spam. I might be able to get up Trick Room even. Because uh, they don't have a lot of single target damage except like Fluttermane. And I'm Terra Water. Okay. Uh, so I guess Fluttermane and Rillaboom could be annoying. But whatever. Uh, and then they have Torkoal which Gallade should be an answer to. Oh gosh, if I lose Gallade too quickly, I could be in trouble. Uh, but anyway, I should just bring my own Torkoal. Do I want to bring Lilligant? Is Lilligant faster than anything relevant? Not too much. I think I like Torkoal here. I think it's fine. It can, at a minimum, turn off Kyogre's weapon. Which could be good. But yeah, Kyogre and Torkoal. That's an interesting combo. I want to see what you're trying to do with that. I wonder if there's matchups that are just so bad for Kyogre that you just do Torkoal instead. Uh, that's, an, that's a trainer card. That's definitely a picture you took. It's not the base one. Okay, whatever. Alright, you've got... Oh, the Cherish Ball Flutter Maid. Ooh. Alright, well, it'd be pretty easy for you to, like, Shadow Ball something or Moon Blast the Gallade which would be super annoying. But you are going to get your Protosynthesis in speed. I think I just set Trick Room with Necrozma. And I probably Terra. Because it could be Shadow Ball and like Water Spout. I could Wide Guard, but then Fluttermane probably takes out Gallade. So then I pressure them with Effects Eruption. I think I'm okay with going to Indeedee. Terra, Trick Room. I think that's my play because it's Speed Booster Fluttermane, so it's not going to do insane damage. And if I turn into a Water type, even if Kyogre predicts me to not Wide Guard and does do a big Water move, it probably won't do too much. Like this double up, they're not that strong against the Water type. Especially a water type with Necrozma stats. Okay, I probably should have put Necrozma on the other side, because I don't see Indeedee. <laughs> Alright, they're gonna go for their Terra. Is it Terra Water? Okay, well, sorry Indeedee, you're getting blasted. <laughs> um, uh, hopefully Necrozma can take this. Uh, if they do just go Taunt, I could be in trouble. That would be... That would be a huge problem. I didn't think about that until just now. They could just click Taunt. I guess the Ndidi Necrozma lead was better. Hmm. I should have thought about that. 
Okay, it's a Shadow Ball. That's probably fine. A special defense drop I lose, but whatever. Oh, it's Hydro Pump. That's gonna hurt. Oh, it took it out! Incredible. Okay. Well then. What I do about that is... If I send in Torkoal here, I can get Trick Room up with Indeedy. Oh my goodness! That was too much damage! Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, now I know. Should have led with Indeedy. Yeah, so I'm doing that just to help me set Trick Room. I'm actually going to get Torkoal out of here into Gallade. Because then I want to try to sweep with Gallade. And with Torkoal when it comes back in. But I assume Kyogre might want to swap out. If it doesn't, and it just starts blasting, well, I could be in trouble again. But that's the nature of this team. You gotta, you gotta make the calls right, or you're in trouble. Man, so if I had just, like, gone for an attack with Gallade, I could have been in a good position. Hmm. Torkoal swapped first, so they didn't swap out anything. Strange. I guess it's just Water Spout then, trying to do as much damage as I can. Hydro Pump. Okay, there's Specs. No wonder they did so much damage. I get it now. You're just a Choice Specs Kyogre. Okay. Cool. Not cool, but cool. Okay. Kyogre probably swaps, and I'm not too scared of it if it doesn't. So I'm going to click Follow Me and Psycho Cut the Fluttermane. I think that's fair. Um, I could have brought in Torkoal, but I don't... I don't want Torkoal on the field if Kyogre's in the back. So no, I don't want to bring in Torkoal here. This is the right play. If I really... Oh! Fluttermane swapping. Kyogre's staying in. That's interesting. Who am I hitting? There, indeedy. Okay. Well, this follow me then covers for the Hydro Pump, so this is fine. Good damage, too. How much does Hydro Pump really do? A critical hit, and it KOs Indeedy. Well... That's something. <laughs> this match is crazy! Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, am I good to click Eruption the rest of this game? How many turns of Trick Room are left? Three turns of Trick Room. Yeah, I'm good to click Eruption. Oh my goodness. Eruption takes out Indeedy. And then, I guess... Leaf Blade. Psycho Cut, Stab, and Terrain. Leaf Blade is stronger. Plus, we got the crit chance. Well, we got the crit chance either way. I don't think they would have Rillaboom last. They might. Eruption. And Leaf Blade. Just in case you just... Oh, Helping Hand. Okay. I'm glad I clicked Leaf Blade then. I should be able to knock out Kyogre. With this combo. Yeah, they just keep clicking Hydro Pump with Specs. I mean... That's your win condition, I guess. But Leaf Blade should knock you out. Even if I don't get the crit, I think this is enough. It is enough. Did I get the crit? No crit? Okay, I was right. That's good. I would rather KO without needing the crit. And now you've got two whole turns left. Fluttermane can't take anything because your Fluttermane is booster energy. So we gotta just see who the last is. Which is their Torkoal. So I guess what, I just click Eruption and Wide Guard? Is it possible they click a single target move? Twenty-two speed on Torkoal, I think that's minimum, right? Let's click Eruption. <clears throat> Oh, 
And I'm clicking Wide Guard. I don't know if it's the right play. It doesn't seem to be any Protect. That's good. We get our Eruption first. That's amazing. Thank you. Fluttermane's gone. Now, what do you click? It's just Earth Power into Torkoal. Okay. We eat the special defense drop. Last turn of Trick Room. If Gallade survives this turn, we win. Gallade has to survive this turn, and we win. The only way to help that is to click Wide Guard. Torkoal's locked into its move. So I just click Wide Guard just so they can't switch over to Heat Wave, which might be what they have. Now if they have Weather Ball and they knock out Gallade, then we could be in trouble because Eruption... Oh! Eruption takes it! I'm cool with that! That's cool! Thank you, Torkoal! That was a really weak Eruption, but you're really strong with the specs. Alright. Rough start for Necrozma, but this is a strong team, so we pulled it through anyway. <laughs> All right, we've got a Ice Rider matchup with Blood Moon. They've got two Grass types with Rage Powder. Okay. Uh, my Trick Room is... Well, my Torque Hole is slower than everything you've got. So my Trick Room is better than your Trick Room. But my Psy Spam isn't that great. You've got two, maybe three Dark types. So I might just leave this and start Blasting. Yeah, do I have... Trick Room, I do not have him prison. Is there any way Lily Cole does well? No. I mean, the, they have a fake out. Fake out is the only thing that really stops Liligant, but Lily Cole might not be strong because they'll definitely have a Terra. They could even go Horse and Incineroar, which, if the Horse has a Terra that resists fire, this doesn't do anything then. So I think I want Indeedy, Necrozma, Torkoal in the back for when I or they set Trick Room, because it's the best Trick Room sweeper. And then probably Gallade. It's relatively fast, so it can work outside of Trick Room, and it has Wide Guard inside of Trick Room, which is nice. Yeah, I think that's who I want to go with. I think those are the right four. Hopefully it works. Uh, <laughs> just because they're the right four doesn't mean I'm going to win. But Moongeist beam into the horse is big. Uh, Clefairy! Yippee. Lost my train of thought. Anyway, uh, Meteor Beam should do damage to something, right? Okay, it's the bear. It's the bear and the angry little mushroom guy. Which can be follow me, but cannot be uh, rage powdered. I don't have rage powder. No, I have follow me. They have rage powder. And I have Water Terra. Oh, that's not great. I don't hate Follow Me. And then I need to damage the Mushroom, so I think Follow Me Meteor Beam. I think that's what I want to do. Yeah, Ursaluna just protects. That's actually good. I like that a lot. And then whatever you do is fine. I want to see the speed interaction, mostly. I'm faster than your mushroom. Cool. Now just connect this, and we're in a pretty good position. This is going to be a lot of damage. I doubt it KOs, though. That mushroom is bulky. Ooh, very bulky. Yet yeah, Spore is expected. Dee's gonna have to eat a sleep turn. I don't think I can KO the mushroom, because plus one Meteor Beam did that. Moongeist Beam is close to the same power, but resisted, so it's not gonna KO. So I need to throw a move. I need to let something go to sleep, or throw a move at Ursa Luna. I choose throw a move at Ursa Luna. And that move is expanding force. Yeah, Ursa Luna stays in, that's good. We're probably faster. 
We are faster, that's good. Hopefully we do big damage here. Yeah, that's worth going to sleep for. Good night, bear. And good night, me? Yeah. Night, night. I'll take a little nap. I probably should have brought more spore immunities. I mean, I have a grass terra in the back, and I have the bear. Oh, it's Calyrex. Well, Calyrex needs to be careful because I can do some stuff. I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam if I wake up. And I cannot wake up this turn. So yeah, I'm just gonna Dazzling Gleam. And I'm gonna throw a Moongeist Beam, but I already moved, so... Oh, good. Nice wake up. Little Gleamy Gleam. Next one might take out Bonnet. Burn my first turn of sleep. And is it just Trick Room? No, it's Glacial Lamp. Okay. Does over half to bowl! Ooh, and they spore. That's rough. Okay. It could get a double KO, which would be bad. Obviously. I can't allow that. If they just get a double KO, I lose. I can't my back end can't win against that. I need to get Gallade in somehow. bring in Torkoal here and try to wake up. I could have also gone Terra Water to resist the Lance this turn. That might not have been a bad play. But this also covers if they try to Trick Room this turn. Unfortunately, it also boosts their attack. Ah, Sucker Punch. You can't do that. We wake up! Oh, that's huge! Ooh, plus one moon guys beam. Let's go. Bye, Calyrex. Okay, that's awesome. My Pokemon are not all that sleepy. Incredible. And we're faster than Brute Bonnet. We should probably just take that out while we got the chance. And then it's Sinistra. Ooh, that heals it up. Well, that's kind of bad. I mean, you gotta do something about Torkoal, and that's something... Yeah, I'll click Heat Wave. You gotta spore it, and if you're sporing it, then you're ignoring me destroying your Sinistra, so... Yeah. Goodbye, Sinistra! <laughs> this thing's just a delete button once it gets going. I love it! Wow! Let's go, Necrozma! <laughs> Man, someday I'll remember to put you on the left. <laughs> someday. Remind me in the next battle. Uh, yell at me if I'm about to put it on the right again. Okay, Weirdness disappears. They can Sucker Punch now. Unless I put the Weirdness back. And hit them with a Moongeist Beam. They probably forfeit at this point. They don't forfeit at this point. Wow. Okay. I mean, it's just a Glade waiting room now. If you do knock stuff out, whatever. I'll just Sacred Sword you when it's over. Yeah, they go for the Sucker Punch. They're just trying to play it out, but nope, not gonna happen. They might eat this Moongeist Beam, which is annoying. The flow of this battle makes more sense if I win here. Ah, man. See, that messes up the video. Now I gotta sit here for a whole nother turn, clicking buttons, when my whole audience already knows what's gonna happen. Good game, though. Good game. Very good game. Cool, cool trainer card. I like Clefairy. Okay, oh, a Zassian team. Annihilate scares me. Annihilate might be like some sort of Final Gambit shenanigans. Um, they have terrain control. Do I have min speed on this? That looks like min speed. I do like just going Trick Room mode. Honestly, Glade doesn't have Trick Room, so it has to be those two. 
Yeah, that's the lead I have to do. They don't have weather control unless Tornadus, but Torkoal seems really good. And then... Their only spread move seems to be Tornadus. Um... Do I like Bear or Gallade better? I don't think I want Lilligant in this one. Uh, Bear can hit Zacian harder and can hit everything. Gallade can also hit a lot of stuff really hard. I mean, they're both just nukes. I don't really have much need for the Flame Orb. I guess Bear is a little bit better just because it has an immunity to Thunderclap. Because if they take terrain control... I mean, what's my Terra anyway? Ghost? I don't hate that. Yeah, I like that. Bear has some options, because it can turn into a fake out immunity, and it can stay as a thunderclap immunity, which may be necessary to use once they take away terrain. Aw, oh, no trainer card. Boo! Did I put it on the right again? I'm sorry. I. Who, if you were yelling at me, did I do it? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't hear you yelling at me because that's not how time and space work. Ah, that's my bad. Okay. Well, this... Well, there's a dog outside that's pretty upset. But this is a great lead. I don't see what they do to stop Trick Room. Nope, not Trick Room there. Fuck. Maybe Trick Room there. I could maybe just Trick Room and send a Meteor Beam? I'm gonna... F no, I'm gonna click follow me. I want to be a little bit safe. Follow me, Trick Room. It's fine. I don't need to get greedy. I am in a good position. I should just play it safe. Who knows what kind of weird... Yeah! They have something weird! <laughs> I knew there would be something weird going on here. And Taunt Bundle! <gasps> wow! Okay, yeah, that's why you play it safe on closed team sheet. What is that? What is any of that? Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam, I'm gonna Expanding Force, good luck to my opponent. No. I'm gonna get out of here. Into Torkoal. Because I expect Rillaboom may come in. This person looks pretty smart. Based on what I've seen so far, they're pretty smart. And I will click... Meteor Beam? No. I'll click Expanding Force into Tornadus. Yeah, indeed he should be swapping first. That makes sense. And Torkoal is in. Torkoal the Joyful. The Shiny Joyful. Oh, a Terra's coming out. Oh, if it's Dark, it's gonna be Dark Tornadus. Why did I not see that coming? <laughs> Is Bundle just gonna protect though? Because I am still psy spamming it. Takes that really well. Okay, yeah, this double up will de that did nothing. Can we eat this Dark Pulse? Because we have Prism Armor. That weakens super effective move. We take it! Oh yeah, you're in big trouble now. Buddy, <laughs> there's a storm coming for you. Do I want to save the Meteor Beam for any particular target? Now that they've burned Terra, no. I want to just take get the boost now. I want to click Eruption. And I want to get the special attack boost. Eruption probably knocks them both out unless there's a Sash somewhere, no. But yeah, Meteor Beam, I'll get the special attack boost and throw it into nothing. So whatever, I don't even need to hit because there's nothing. Phew! Uh, based on that... No, the bundle has taunt. It took that expanding force really well. It's an interesting set. It's probably like supported. And then Terra Dark Tornadus. That's interesting. That's a really cool answer to Psy Spam. Because yeah, it gets Dark Pulse. You can just block the Psy Spam with Terra Dark. Wow. I They had everything they needed. This team is just... This guy is just too strong. Honestly. Yeah, you already burned Terra. Zacian's not going to make it through three turns. And then Rillaboom's here, sure. I'm just gonna... 
We already burned Terra. Yeah, I'm just gonna get Psy Psychic Terrain back on the field and click Eruption again. Terra Fire Eruption, even. This game's over. Good game. Yeah, I don't see what they do. Oh, that Necrozma's in a Beast Ball. That's really cool. That's a good choice for that ball. Moon Ball and DD, that doesn't mean much to me. Lots of shinies, too. But anyway, while we uh, sit here and wait for this game to end, why don't you go into the comment section and tell me, do you prefer Dawn Wings, Necrozma, or do you prefer Lunala? Not from a competitive standpoint, but just from a design. Because I think Lunala looks really cool, but Necrozma Dawn Wings is so sick as well. Yeah, and they go for the fake out. Psychic Terrain blocks that. We click the eruption button. Here we go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Unless you're like Sash Rillaboom. Yep, that's it. Oh, my opponent did a lot of things right, but it just wasn't enough for the power of this team. Oh my goodness, this team is crazy. If you are struggling to get to Master Ball, I mean, I'm already in Master Ball now, but if you're struggling to get in, go download this team. Oh my goodness. Good game, Roy. We are back. I warned you it might be a short video. <laughs> Power Herb Necrozma is just so strong. I didn't even need Ursaluna or Lilligant in this video. Basically, Necrozma, other than the first battle, uh, cleaned up. And Torkoal with Specs is strong, too. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'm Jordy. And, uh, alright. Peace.